Hello, Legion Output here, here for more or less uh, some sad news because I only recently found out about this and by recently I mean as soon as I tried to log into my um, Idola JP account I was showing my account details and I wasn't able to get in because Idola Fantasy Star Saga will shut down in January in Japan. Oh, this was... This was noted in November. Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, um, so essentially I'll just run down what's going to happen because I believe this is only for JP at least. So, uh, game will shut down on January 12th. Obviously right now it's the 13th for me. So, it's, JP has shut down. Sega has announced the closure on October. Seriously, that early on? <laughs> Uh, it then prevented the purchase of paid currency from Halloween 2021. This only applies to the JP version of the game. Sega thanked players and apologized for the Idola Fantasy Star Saga shutdown. It also confirmed that while people can't buy Star Diamonds anymore, they can still register and play. It is also noted that it will allow people to ask refunds when the game closes on January 12th. Boltread is still handling the game on Global didn't release any comments following Sega's announcement, however updates still appear regularly f for that version, which is true because I did log into my EN account, but JP, um, yeah, it, it showed my account and everything and I couldn't go in. Obviously, JP is now shut down. Uh, in October... In October 2021, Game celebrated its first anniversary, um, in which the witch from the Empire Leo Gelder appeared in the game as a part of it. People ended up getting free guaranteed 5 star episode 2 characters, which I did get, I believe. I did, I, that did happen. <laughs> uh, and then everything else, obviously, Boltry didn't say anything is affected by global version so how where does this leave me essentially um well since jp is pretty much closed i can't get into my account i can't do anything um there's a likely chance i just straight up just have to quit because jp has shut down what about on en however boltread is still going to uh, license and continue the game on global. However, much like every other global version, because um, this is a bit of a reverse, in my opinion, to what happened with Symphogear, with their global release, because what they did was essentially just do, like, they released a global version. The JP was still going, like, years ahead, <clears throat> in terms of content but global version only lasted about a month and it just stopped even though JP's content was still going but this is the exact reverse where the JP just stopped but global has a chance to catch up with JP content but then after that what's gonna happen <laughs> because JP's content is the main base game and if there's no content anymore I think as soon as, I think as soon as, um, Global catches up to JP content, they're gonna, they're gonna also have to shut down at some point as well, because there's no new content from the devs, because Sega, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> so, there is a likely chance I will just, like, from here on out, just straight up quit both versions because I don't see the point unless Boltread becomes the new developers for Idola Global and then take it up that way but I highly doubt it <laughs> because I, I, I don't I don't see this working I don't see this working at all so for me as of now I'm probably going to quit both versions of Idola um I <laughs> Like, I I am going to say that I did kind of see some weird 
some weird signs that I dollar like something 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 up was something up something was up with I dollar during its first anniversary and everything but the thing is what I presumed was that they were still doing like anniversary campaigns like for like months on end but then it just kept on going but at the same time the content just slowly started to like fizzle out after that point that is when for me i realized something was going on and i should have noticed this during december but during december for me i was i was extremely busy so i did not like catch any hints from my dollar at the time uh it's a shame because i dollar was actually a pretty decent game because it as I said, I played both versions, I, I kind of know. Um, actually, oddly enough, it was, I believe it was one of my Discord members that recommended, recommended it to me. And then, I believe at one point, like, Keta Sean was pretty much on board with, like, on board with also, like, playing the game and giving us hints and everything. But he, I believe he was also busy and just did his own thing afterwards. <laughs> But more or less, I did like more or less the main reason why I did keep on playing was because of its new, unique gameplay. One of my Discord members like pretty much recommended it to me. It was intriguing gameplay. The art style was pretty good, and the entire lore and chaos on the characters like those gameplay elements did make Idola interesting. However. <clears throat> I will say that Sega does an extremely, like, they they do a bad job with their mobile games because there is a huge, there is a likely chance that they do a bad job maintaining their mobile games because, uh, like, I, I can't say as much because I only know it through um, Idola, but from hearsay, I heard that Sega's mobile gaming divisions not the best <laughs> I'll leave it at that for now um, so um, what is going to what what game I'm gonna be playing next I guess since you know to cover the whole of Idola I don't know <laughs> at the moment however I did kind of like pick up blue archives on global and uh yeah that game is actually kind of fun at the moment but in terms of my blue sex games which with uh, in which both my idola ver like both idola versions are are on my blue stacks i don't know but we will see but with more or less a heavy hearts i will say that it is kind of it is kind of sad that Idola is closing, <laughs> or has shut down, yeah. Oh well, c'est la vie I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that will do it for me in covering Idola's shutdown. I seriously should have just looked up what was happening on Idola months ago, but I was really busy at the time. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, comment below what you think of Idola's closing. Obviously, there's not much you could can do besides maybe just migrating to global, I guess, <laughs> before global might get might get its inevitable sort of Damocles as well. <laughs> I will I will say one last thing, just to praise Idola at least. My favorite characters in Idola. It, it had to be Giselle. Giselle was like one of the best characters in my opinion. Not to mention she was meta as hell. So it was both. It was waifu and she was meta as hell. And I believe she was also voiced by Akari, Akari Kito as well. So yeah. This game, this game as well as waifuisms and everything, it had a lot of it. And in my opinion, Giselle was probably the best character in the game. <laughs> Uh, and next to Stella as well. But Giselle was something else. So yeah, <clears throat> that will finally end it. Uh, and again, 
Comment below what you think about Idolas shutting down and let me know. With that, LA out.